So in the last session, we discussed about how to utilize these keywords, any, any kind of keywords uh, for the search results using Nokri portal. So for that purpose, I have used a different job description for this role. In this specific role, we need someone who has an experience in Java, Spring Boot and Hibernate. These three skill sets are being mandatory. So uh, in this case, what you can see is Java and the star is being filled up. So this actually notifies that this role, uh, this specific skill set is mandatory in this role. Same goes for Spring Boot and same goes for Hibernate as well. So in this session, we'll be discussing how to utilize the Boolean search over here. So for that, you just need to turn on this button and anywhere that you see a comma. As of now, all these three keywords are mandatory. So I'll use a and D and here to values a and D. I'll just brief you what these keywords are, what we call Boolean, uh, Boolean parameters or else we can say Boolean operators are. So and so and actually specifies that the keywords which are available before and and after and a uh, boolean string or boolean parameter itself will be mandatory so though if if both the uh, skill sets are present in the resume or as profile of the candidate then it will be shown in the search results of the specific boolean string otherwise if both of them are not available or else even any one of them is only available it will still not be shown in the results second one is or or make sure that if any one of the parameters or else the skill sets which are available before or or else after or if any one of them is present in this uh, profile or the resume of the candidate it will still be shown in the results however the third one has a specific role over here so let's say if we put any keyword after not uh, boolean parameter so in that case, after uh, the keywords or as the skill set which is available after not will be excluded from the search result. This means that if I put anything after not and this, that keyword is still present in the resume or as profile of the candidate, that specific profile will be excluded from excluded from the search results. So going back, as I said, there is a keyword of java before and and a spring boot after and so in that case the result will make sure that these both keywords are available in the search results uh, that means in the profile or else the resume of the candidate same goes for spring boot and hibernate so this specific string means that the profile or else the resume of the candidate must have all these three keywords java spring boot and hibernate just to simplify this we have one tool available out there on online i specifically use this one it's called spotable.com so for that you just need to sign up on this website and you will get this kind of dashboard so in this dashboard you just need to click on tools after you click on tools you just need to go down click on boolean and as you're using Nokri as a platform for this, you can click on Nokri and just mention the keywords that you're looking for. So I'll mention Java, Spring Boot, and Hibernate. And I'll just click on Get a Boolean Query. Here you get your Boolean query already. So you just can you can just copy it and paste it over here. So in the Boolean query, you can see that this Java keyword is being used in the double quote. So this is although not mandatory, but double quotes are being used whenever you use some sort of like multiple words in a skill set. Let's say I use, we can use a React Native. Just giving you an example. Sometimes people use React Native as a single word itself. That won't be a problem. So 
just to give you an example what will happen I haven't used any double quote over here for react native or any specific keyword so I'll just click on search results or search candidates you can see here that there are 24 profiles available in our search result so now going back and I'll put this in double quote react native in double quote now we'll see see you can see now there are only 11 profiles so I'll give you an ex uh, like explanation for this so once you put a double quote and if there are multiple words into that uh, into those quotes it will make sure that those words are available in the same sequence and in the same format if only these kind of sequence is being followed in the resume as well or else in the profile then only it will be shown in the search results and if someone has mentioned native react or something like that some, some something like that sort so in that case such profiles will be excluded so this just make sure that the profile has the similar kind of exact skill sets that we are looking for so just make sure that in you, when you whenever you are using multiple key, uh, key skills or keywords in the sim, uh, single format only and you need that kind of skill sets in that specific format only then you need to go for this double quote so now you have good understanding that how the boolean string will be created and how it can impact your specific results so just to go in a bit deeper i'll use let's say along with all these skill sets i also need someone i'll just include this one right now as of now we don't need it I'll use either SQL as a database or else no SQL. So what this will do is it will make sure that all these three keywords are present in the search result. But along with that, either SQL or no SQL is also present in the results. So let's just try it. Now we have 1270 profiles. So this is how we can use it and the same we'll use it in the tool as well, this portable tool. So here what you can do is you can mention SQL and no SQL. Now the similar string will be generated again. See you can see it over here. The exact similar kind of string has already been generated by this tool. Okay, so also along with Nokri, you can use this for LinkedIn as well. It won't make any big difference over there because the string is almost similar. Same goes for the other platforms as well, like I am jobs. So this is pretty much it, and we'll see you in the next session.